The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, has accomplished yet another feat after dazzling the globe with its first science photos of star formation, death, and an area of sky packed with thousands of ancient galaxies. The James Webb Space Telescope may have just shattered records as it has discovered the cosmos' oldest galaxy, a galaxy that was present when the universe was merely 300 million years old. The Super Space Telescope that captured the deepest and sharpest infrared image of the early cosmos ever, which went viral earlier this month, has now revealed a photo of the universe's oldest galaxy as well, and the entire world is excited. However, it's not all good news with the James Webb Space Telescope, as it was recently damaged just a couple of days after we received the first images. So what exactly happened? A few days ago, reports claimed that the James Webb Space Telescope may have suffered damage as a result of an unexpected micrometeorite strike. It was revealed in May of this year that a micrometeorite hit had damaged the primary mirror, which of course doesn't sound too great. But even with the damage that it suffered, the telescope was able to capture something really fascinating, as the world had no idea what it was going to witness next. With its significantly improved infrared resolution and sensitivity, NASA's Super Space Telescope, the James Webb Telescope, the largest optical telescope in orbit, can examine objects that are too ancient, far away, or faint for the Hubble Space Telescope. The first image from the James Webb Space Telescope, a startlingly crisp, deep-field look into the past, was unveiled by President Joe Biden on July 11. But there's yet more time travel to come as scientists anticipate that the observatory will enable us to view some of the early galaxies in the universe. I'm eager to observe the universe's initial 400 million years. JWST will provide us with our first glimpse of what it looked like then, because we have yet to see anything that depicts it. Astronomer Dan Coe from Baltimore Space Telescope Science Institute stated in an interview. In cosmic terms, the oldest galaxy ever found existed when the cosmos was yet in its infancy. Researchers have identified two possibilities for the earliest galaxies in the cosmos, Glass Z11 and Glass Z13. By analyzing data from the GRISM Lens Amplified Survey from Space, Glass, a component of the Webb Telescope's early scientific activity. Notably, the galaxy is presently placed near to 33 billion light years distant from us whereas light took almost 13 billion years to reach us due to the rapid expansion of the universe. If this doesn't send a shiver down your spine, we don't know what will. However, it is still unclear to astronomers when and how the earliest galaxies came into existence. The only galaxy that was proved to have been in the first few hundred million years following the Big Bang, when our first universe first began, is still GNZ11. Researchers from the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics under the direction of Rohan Naidu claim that Glass E11 exhibits a clearly stretched exponential light profile that may be consistent with a disk galaxy. Some of the earliest JWST NERCAM datasets that have been detected and made available over extragalactic fields form the basis of our research. We examine the two early release science projects Glass and Sears in detail, according to the team's preprint publication. Additionally, the numbers 11 and 13 stand for the galaxy's redshifts, which are measurements of how much the universe's expansion has stretched the light from these galaxies. The galaxy's higher redshift suggests that it is located distant from Earth. Although the study has not yet undergone peer review, if it is approved, it might be revolutionary. The Near Infrared Spectrograph NERSPEC, instrument on the Webb spacecraft will probably be used by researchers to learn more about these two candidates. The scientists wrote in the publication, deep JWST surveys may identify relatively bright galaxies too, much earlier epochs than may have been predicted. But what makes the James Webb Telescope so powerful that it was able to capture the universe's oldest creation? Well, the answer to that is, Webb's mirrors are covered in gold. This is an absolute truth. The 18 primary mirror segments of the James Webb Space Telescope are coated in gold, albeit only a golf ball's worth. A single strand of human hair is 1,000 times thicker than the coating to its extreme. That is how thin the mirrors are coated. More effectively than other metals, 24 karat gold, which weighs less than 2 ounces, reflects infrared light as well. Just outside the range of light that humans can see is the infrared spectrum, which makes JWST able to detect wonders the world can only ever imagine. Or so we hope. But that is not all. The Webb telescope needs to stay cool. And it literally does that but with the help of a sunshield, which is the size of a tennis court. Webb needs to be kept cool in order to work effectively, 
That's established. But what is the technicality behind that? Well, a five-layer sunshield the size of a tennis court enables it to accomplish just that. The incredibly thin layers of the shield were successfully deployed less than two weeks after Webb's Christmas Day launch, even though this mechanism was folded up. Without the barrier, the sun's intense heat would be too much for the telescope sensors to handle. So, the side facing the sun was made to be roughly 260 degrees Fahrenheit, while the opposite side is nearly 370 degrees below zero, a difference of almost 600 degrees. According to NASA, the Sun Shield provides Webb an SPF of 1 million in comparison. NASA claims that the Webb telescope is capable of detecting even a bumblebee's faint heat at the moon's distance because of its heightened sensitivity to infrared radiation. Technically, it was also capable of seeing details at a distance of around 25 miles, down to the size of a U.S. penny. Of course, sensitivity is not intended for these activities. As a result, scientists will be able to compare the oldest galaxies to the most recent ones, providing a clearer picture of how they evolved and perhaps providing answers to certain enduring mysteries about the early universe. The discovery of the first galaxies in the universe was one of the mission's main objectives when scientists first began working on Webb more than 20 years ago. These galaxies are cosmic relics that are so far away that it takes billions of years for their light to reach Earth. In our opinion, they are preserved exactly as they appeared at the beginning of the universe, when the light that is now reaching Earth originally left the far-off galaxies. Nobody is certain of how these artifacts will appear. Web scientists are eager to find out, and so are we. There is yet a lot more to come for the JWST as it continues its mission to study the early universe. The most distant star ever recorded was captured by the Hubble Space Telescope earlier this year, breaking the previous record. Its light, known as Arendelle, took 12.9 billion years to reach Hubble. The JWST will be used by those researchers to do additional studies. Future observations will certainly astound space lovers, given how much more robust JWST is than the Hubble. Enjoy the video? Be sure to hit the subscribe button, leave a like, and let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.